Teams then led by Robert Howley and Pat Lamb went to the field together on this tremendous occasion. The third successive capacity crowd at the Millennium Stadium of 72,500. Really is a tremendous atmosphere building up at the Millennium Stadium. And what a great day in prospect for Neil Jenkins. Just one point away from the all-time points record total. 911, Michael Liner's total, which he equaled in the game against Japan. Today also, Neil Jenkins equals the record, the Caps record for Wales. Held by the gentleman on my left, Ian Evans. 72 caps. Although I have to say, I think if it wasn't for the fact that the Iron had so many shoulder injuries in his career, there might have been a few more to chase. I couldn't think of anyone more worthy, actually, of, uh, of breaking records. I know you're Michael Liner's record uh, today. But um, he worked very hard for what he's achieved and uh, the consummate professional. So the two sides gather for the national anthems. <laughs>
So Wales potentially one game away from their first quarter-final since 1987 in New Zealand. Just two players short today of their full-strength lineup, both in the pack. Karat Dwellin, Wales's most capped international forward with 63 caps, comes into the second row in place of Craig Quinnell, who has what he might term metal fatigue, tiredness after lots of challenges. And Martin Williams continues on the flank wearing six in place of Colin Jarvis as he completes his suspension. Late change in the Samoan lineup because of an injury during the warm up to winger So or Arlo. So they reject switching Lima to the right wing, to Ingavala from centre to the left wing. Leao Pepe comes into the centre. Manu Samoa's challenge to Wales. So the preliminaries are over then, and this promises to be a really exciting encounter. Yeah, the gauntlet is very much thrown down uh, from Wales' nemesis from previous World Cup, Samoa. Ed Morrison from Bristol, just across the Seven Bridge, taking charge today then. But yet another sellout in, three, in the three pool games that have been here so far, over 220,000 people have watched the World Cup game so far. Magnificent turnout here once again. So it's the Samoans who will prepare to kick off in this first half. Just a light breeze, shouldn't affect the players down there though. Neil Jenkins, 72nd cap today, equaling Jan Evans's record, and just one point short of the all-time points record held by Michael Liner. What a great day it promises to be for him. So it's fullback Saloa, Leainga, who gets this game underway. First mistake is on the Welsh side. Referee Ed Morrison waits for an advantage to Samoa. Doesn't come, knock on, scrum to Samoa. They lack of communication there. Scott Connell coming on to ball, uh, called for it, but Garth Willen coming back into, into the ball, decided to take it, and uh, the ball was spilled. Poor mistake by Wales to start off. The drive is on immediately from the side of the scrum. And an offside decision. So, penalty to Samoa in the opening seconds. Peter Rogers, a Welsh loose head prop. A good defence here by Robert Howley from the scrum. Managed, managed to put uh, Pat Lamb down. But again, Garth Willing picking the ball up after the ball is laid back and right in front of Ed Morrison's eyes. Had to give the penalty. Back, Leanga going for the post. Then 34 points already for him in the two games played to date. 23 points against Japan in the first game at Wrexham. See already there the ground around the 22 beginning to cut up. Lianga composes himself for this early opportunity for Samoa. That looks good. Excellent shot by the fullback. First blood to the South Pacific side. They lead Wales by three points to nil. Lovely lazy strike of the ball by Arena. He has proved to be a, a top class goal kicker in the pool game so far. So, Neil Jenkins' first touch of the ball is to restart this game. Just the start the Samoans would have wanted. And Ed Morrison's playing an advantage, I think. That's mishandling. It's an advantage to Wales, so Gareth Thomas is allowed to continue. Howley to Jenkins. Not much on there for Wales at that time. But Dummy James does well, recovers and straightens up the line. 
everyone out on this open side of the field. Scott Gibson, Mark Taylor looking to rip the ball away. Just a knock on though from the well centres. Put in in their own 22 to Samoa. Enterprising play by Samoa to begin with, trying to run out of their own 22 from uh, from the restart, but uh, failed to do so, made a mistake. Another big test of the Samoan scrum. They had major problems in the game against Argentina at Strally Park last week. Wales again poised for the big shove. But Wales going through the mark that time. Quickly taken. Craig Glendinning. Speedy flank forward brought into this side today by Samoa. Expecting to play a fluid open game. Lee Ienga, that's one for Twingamala to chase. And the fullback takes his side up again towards halfway. Wales well, are definitely going to try and work some more in, the, in this head pieces on the scrummage in particular. Interest in the inclusion of Gareth Welling, uh, perhaps he's interested in, in, in slightly into the game plan. Wales are going to, to play from the outset here, very conservative and work them in all the set pieces. Karen Jenkins with the throw. Chris Wyatt as ever, coming to it late. Times has jumped well too. Number six, Martin Williams joins in. And Darren Jenkins, so often the orchestrator in these moves, burrowing through on that one. Pat Lamb, and Samoan skipper, looking to tackle him. This is a good drive by the Welsh forwards. Stolen in the end by a Samoan forward. But he came round. From the side, not allowed to do that. So it's a penalty to Wales, and could this be the chance for Neil Jenkins to get that record? You can hear the crowd's response to that thing. They know he's only got a point to get, and he's the, uh, odds on to get the three points from here. And it'll be a proud moment for every Welshman in this stadium. Neil Jenkins. 911 points in his career, comprising 870 for Wales in 71 games, plus 41 points for the British Lions on their tour of South Africa. The routine will be exactly the same as it is on every single occasion. He likes it. Oh, so close. And Samoa, now then, can respond through Lam and Vayenga. There's a great chance here. On the switch, Vayenga with the kick through. Lianga, the fullback going in there. It's Bashup. Ed Morrison right on the spot. Whoa, Wales escape. What a tremendous attack by Samoa. And Stephen Bashup almost in. Brilliant counter-attack by Samoa there. Wales has held his breath, waiting for the points record. Samoa watched the ball all the way through, took it, took it back to the post, and then went 100 yards up the field, and, and then Stephen Bashup just held up on the line. This is a really big scrum then. Samoa leading by three points to, Len to nil. So Yalo going for the line. And in fact, the Samoans penalised Robbie Ali, I think, the tight head prop, for taking that scrum down. So the whole of Wales, I think, breathes a huge sigh of relief. Samoa definitely came here to try and spot on the party, but again, you can see uh, how, how very much up against it Samoa are in the set piece and the scrum in particular. The Welsh tight five, and with a front three of uh, Peter Rogers, Darren Jack, is David Young. Going to work them every time the scrum goes down. Certainly, though, that would have been one of the great tries of this competition. Pashev and Jenkins then, the two men in opposition in the number 10 jersey. Jenkins, short this time. First take for Gareth Llewellyn. Man who's had a new lease of life in the last few seasons. Up at Harlequins, but it's stolen again by Samoa. Good play by the forwards. Now, Twingamala can straighten things up. Big strong man. 
good support. George Leo Pepe only knew he was playing some ten minutes before the start of this game. Twingamala in again. This is a tremendous start by Samoa. Pat Lam looking to take out the Welsh midfield defence. But Samoa diving in on the ground, conceding the penalty. Well, I tell you, if there was any complacency in the Welsh side, it won't be any longer. They've been shaken out of it, definitely. Very, very good period of pressure by Samoa. Yeah, turning the ball over again for that line out. Line of possession won by Garth when initially. Samoa turning around. Are they going to try and, uh, and upset the Welsh partner play? Neil Jenkins looking to cool things down then. Doing that penalty kick to Dutch. I think the kicking from hand of Neil Jenkins today is going to unrob how he's going to be crucial. Yeah. In order to turn the Samoans. Chris Wyatt again joining the line out at the last, last minute. Off the top. Howley to Jenkins being very flat. Scott Gibbs. Charging, bullocking run by the centre. But there's a turnover, I think. Again on the Samoan side. Wales in the end holding it in, preventing it coming back. Wonderful, that, wonderful defence there by Samoa. And that's been a problem for Wales, hasn't it, throughout this World Cup, is uh, losing ball in contact. Yeah, did so against Japan, and uh, on the extra physical presence of Samoa, if they can do so against Japan, they're bound to do so against Samoa, and they need to tighten it up. But Scott Gibbs was there, uh, met by a wall of, of blue jerseys. Stephen Bashup, his brother Graham, of course, played at scrum half for Japan here last week. And Stephen Bashup taking play again into the Welsh 22. Another man who lined up for New Zealand. Uh, Samoa take it quickly again. Tony, the line up winner. Again winning the second phase possession. Well, Brian Lima straightening it up again. Such a powerful, strong run up. So Alo. That short. Now it's to Ingamala. This is a searching examination of the Welsh defence. Paramo then took it on. Soyalo. Interception and half the kick upfield. David James for Wales. Up. Looking to take advantage. Has he got the pace? Lock on is the decision at the end by Ed Morrison. David James, so unlucky. End to end step for the one, a turnover down the field there. And Howarth just getting boot to the ball and down there. Brilliant chase in there by uh, by Davin James and so unlucky. Winning the chase back with uh, Langer, but again the ball rebounding off the post. Just about failing to get his hands to it, dreadfully unlucky. But again, end to end stuff, this is what the crowd want to see. Daniel James, poised then, but first of all, this is a scrum to Samoa. This, another test of their scrum. Wales go for the shove. Crooked feed this time. By scrum half, so Oyalo. So, what is the Welsh decision here? Scrum surely. Yes, that is the Welsh decision. No surprise in that decision, the way that scrum is going. With three scrums into the game and, uh, and already a huge advantage to Wales. Just a break for the moment, though, because of an injury on the Samoan side. But what a hectic start this has been. Samoans really showing, putting down the challenge to Wales. Those shots from the airship high above the Millennium Stadium. In the meantime, Junior Paramo, I think, has left the field for Samoa on halfway line. So the change is made immediately. Sititi, great chance for Wales. But they have to go down again. So an enormous blow for Samoa, losing Junior Paramo. Semo Sititi backing down on this side of the scrum. And that scrum looked as if it was going to explode any second. 
It was close to already though, losing two players and we barely three minutes of the game, one 12 minutes of the game. The drive from the Welsh scrum. Penalty try awarded immediately by Ed Morrison. Well, no messing about that decision. Very quickly, I... He didn't wait very long to give that decision, but he, he could see from the earlier scrums that there was uh, very much a huge advantage in Wales' favour of the scrum. And uh, Smoke doing their the utmost to disrupt that. So, Neil Jenkins then with his second attempt for points in this game. Hit the post with his first effort. Makes no mistake. Neil Jenkins, number one. 904, 913 points in his international career. Beats the world record held by Michael Liner. And you can tell that is a huge relief for Neil. It's a wonderful day for Neil and just rewards for the hard work he's put in. Wonderful day for Welsh rugby as well. Carrot to Allen. Underneath it then from the kickoff. Seven points to three Wales lead. We've almost played 15 minutes in this first half. Jenkins gets the ball away cleanly. Quickly taken by Pat Lamb. King of the winger, Twingamala. Played for New Zealand, of course, in the last World Cup. In the 91 World Cup, I should say. Bashup. But that's a straightforward kick for Shane Howarth. Well, he created a try from this position against Japan. Doesn't get as far this time, though. But the possession is there for Howley. Peter Rogers shrugs off Leota. Tremendous play by the Welsh prop. Jenkins, the miss move to Taylor, the pass to David James. Lima in very strongly indeed on him, but I think Lima might well have injured himself there too. Again, Ed Morrison waiting for an advantage to Wales. It doesn't come, and the physiotherapist on very quickly indeed for the injury to Brian Lima. Went through very, very hard indeed, Brian Lima. The way things are going, Brian Williams might have to put his kit back on, but uh, it's more definitely on holding back on the challenges, and I think he might have uh, hurt his left shoulder there um, in trying to hold on to uh, David James's jersey. Yes, Brian Lima might well, uh, unfortunately, have contributed to his own downfall that time. More worried faces. On the Sambo inside. Neil Jenkins overtaking the world record then of Michael Liner sitting in our studio alongside Gareth Edwards this afternoon. Well, this has been the most incredible start to the game, Guyan. It has been, actually. Um, exactly the sort of start that Samoa would have wanted, actually. A bit fractured, no pattern and no shape to it. Um, but again, Wales have shown their, their, their huge advantage up front. But you can't take away from uh, the, again, the injuries that the Samoa had so far down to their defence. But again, this scrum, you see uh, the, the ball is very much at the back of the scrum with the, with the shove coming on. Ed Morrison wasn't given much of a choice, really, other than to give a penalty try. Yes, the penalty try awarded as the front row stood up. The pressure was enormous, and the uh, Leota stood up there. Ed Morrison in no doubt at all. In the meantime, Brian Lima happily has recovered. Robert Howley unable to get the ball into the scrum that time. Another record today, Robert Howley and Neil Jenkins share, playing together for the 25th time, beating the, red, the Eck record of Gareth Edwards and Phil Bennett. Howley to Jenkins, Taylor, lovely pass to Howard. Gareth Torres has to do it all himself to begin with. The decision is the try. The Samoans protest 
but Gareth Thomas is over for his 21st international try, playing his 39th game today. Well, that was a big try to score. Huge try. Gareth Thomas hit the ball on the right wing here with an awful lot yet to do. And again, got the ball down in the corners before. Wales aren't going to be muscled off the ball here. And again, great upper body strength and getting the ball down just as he went over. Well, touch and go there, actually. Very touch and go. It looked as if Gareth Thomas actually was in touch before he managed to get the ball down. That's why the Samoans were complaining. But the only thing that counts is that the referee has said it's a try. Having the benefit of the action replay does help up here. Uh, because on the first, uh, first sight from here, it looked it was a, a very easy try scored by uh, Gareth Thomas, but a uh, very definitely one. But uh, on the second replay, uh, calling the doubt somewhat, I think. 12-3 to Wales. Neil Jenkins, one of the most difficult of all shots to add the extra two points. Just pulling it wide of the posts. The Wales now then beginning to settle, thanks to that Gareth Thomas try. Good hands here by the Welsh back line. Uh, Shane Howarth releasing Gareth Thomas on the right-hand side, swerving out. Again, it's very difficult one to call from here. Yes, the touch judge and referee, just a split second in which to decide. In the meantime, Chris Wyatt gathers the restart. Howley has a quick look to see where Jenkins is standing. And that's a good clearance kick, but quickly taken again by Samoa. The one, two, Lum and Tuingamala. Tony, the second row, goes down on the ball. Over the top, though, quickly taken again by Howley. Into Wyatt. Wyatt's looking to build on their momentum as they move up towards the Samoan 22. It's coming again for Howley. Jenkins really flat. Into Scott Quinnell. Leota goes in with the challenge. The hooker for Samoa. Jenkins coming from deep this time. Little kick over the top. Gareth Thomas to chase. This time, no danger for Leainga. But suddenly, Wales look to be turning it around. Yes, interestingly, they're not over committing to the break. It's lovely charges by the Welsh forwards. They're only committing two or three to the, uh, to the ensuing rucks and malls, really allowing Jill Jenkins options behind. Shane Howarth from fullback, few options open to him that time. Shane Howarth has been in imperious form so far in the tournament. Only taking the wrong option there and running to touch. And his, uh, and his team won't thank him too much for that. Giving the advantage back to Samoa. Well, after a bright start, Wales back into it. The possession is here again for Samoa. Leota. That one, though. Rather misplaced. Ed Morrison just checking, and the possession is there. Lovely hanging kick down the touchline by Basha. Beautifully done. Excellent tactical kick by the Samoan outside half. Lovely yeah. piece of skill there by, uh, by Stephen Basha. Uh, he did that an awful lot against Japan. Failed to do so really against Argentina, mainly because he didn't get any ball at all to, to control the match. But again, we know he's uh, from lovely skills. Scott Quinnell patrolling the try line. Wales calling the shortened line, making a bad mistake. Lea Palanico, the second row forward, playing his first game in this year's competition, gets the try. And that was sloppy play indeed by Wales. Very sloppy. Where there was a mix up in the call, um, Chris White looked like he was coming forward and the ball going over his head. Uh, must have been a mix up in the call. Oh, it was a, always a poor throw. We can't judge from here. But again, Falanico was there to snap up the loose ball and just fall over the line. Uh, exactly what Wales didn't want to do. So, a bit of an own goal, you might call that, in soccer parlance. Wales having done so well to get back into this game. Someone's now back to 12-8 with the conversion to come. Yeah. 
interesting to see what a good kick can do into the corner though. That all came as a bout of uh, Stephen Bashup's lovely kick into the corner, but pressure on the Welsh throw, uh, barely a, large, a yard from their own line, and uh, interesting how things turn around. One penalty so far from Leah Inga, which opened the scoring. This is successful, will bring the Samoans back to within two points of Wales. Leanga again has struck the ball beautifully. Seven points then for Samoa, and suddenly we have a game on our hands once again. Welsh lead reduced to just two points. We've played almost 24 minutes in the first half. Deep kick off again, down to Pat Lamb, bringing in Brian Lima. Such powerful ball carriers, the Samoans. Again, it's Bashup with the tactical kick. The stand sets up easily for Shane Howarth. A ball outside the 22. So Lyanga couldn't mark it, didn't need to though. Bashup. Noticing obviously that Shane Howarth had been up in attack. Another good tactical kick. And Lima up very quickly indeed on David James. Again, intelligent play again by Bashup. Brilliant play by, by Stephen Bashup. I could see that uh, the only person back in defence uh, for Wales was Scott Connell, who was never going to cover across as quick as a normal full back would have done. So this time, a throw in for Trevor Liotta. The firebrand from Wasps in London. Tone, the main line out jumper for Samoa. And it has passed that time to Falanico, just forward. Nice move that again, though, between the two Samoan locks. Interesting variation by Samoa. The one thing they've done from the outside, really, is try and make uh, Wales guess about what they're going to do. Do something unorthodox rather than the norm. Wales turning the scrum around 90 degrees. Graham Henry and David Pickering. The Welsh management team. Holly again feeds. The pickup by Quinnell. Crossfield, first of all, then straightens up. Going through Leo Pepe. Jenkins creating space. Gareth Thomas. Just had to stop for the split second to make sure he managed to get hold of the ball. Jenkins, Howarth again up intelligently from fullback. Leo Pepe, I think, very high on him there. Gibbs to Williams. Good support play by the Welsh forwards that time too. Taylor, again the challenge was high from Leao Pepe. Taken on by Garen Jenkins. Howley looking to inject some pace but running into his own man. David Young the prop. The Welsh play is a bit over excitable at the moment, actually. They need to th stand back a little bit and take, uh, take count of what's going on in the field. And he was, uh, he was the whole field, that's Stephen Bashup is doing at the moment. Shane Howarth suffered from what seemed to be a rather high challenge, but he's OK. Again, the pressure from the Welsh eight is good, but Samoa do well to recover. Lovely kick again over the top. Sinkinson, Brett Sinkinson is the first man there, though. Out wide again to Gareth Thomas. Has to move back in towards his support. Tone, the lock, took up a position there that meant Wales couldn't get the ball out quickly. Preford Morrison decides he couldn't get out of the way in time. So, let's hear for Nigel Walker down on the touchline as to how things look to him from down there.
12 points to 10. Wales lead, some 12 minutes to go to half time. Options for Wales on both sides. Howley with the surprise element. Thomas up quickly, and Martin Williams too. Wyatt, that's a good long pass to Rogers. Straightening up the line. Scott Gibbs with a tremendous bullocking charge. Rogers to Howley. Gareth Dwellin couldn't gather it. And referee Ed Morrison, happy to play the advantage, plays it well to for Samoa. And they really, Wales needed a little bit more patience, really. A lot more patience. The ball was there to be won, really. And uh, Gareth Dwellin plus trying a little bit too much to go for the gap there and take the angle back inside when uh, it wasn't really necessary at the time. These countries meeting today for the fifth time, two victories apiece. Gareth Willen winning his 64th cap, still just 30 years of age. Wyatt off the top this time for Wales. Again, it's Gibbs. Huge charge again on Leo Pepe. The possession is good and quick for Wales. Wyatt. Oh, took the wrong option, surely there. Going for glory himself, there were men outside him, there was an overlap. Mark Taylor in the meantime. Howley, again, has to use everybody on this side, but uh, Ed Morrison had been playing an advantage to Wales anyway. Well, that was a missed chance. Untidy perfor uh, performance uh, on the last 10 minutes by Wills, but again, Chris Wyatt with two men outside him and uh, no one to beat. Uh, he's been guilty of this a couple of times recently. Um, there are blatant, all he to do was straighten the man with two men and no one in front of them outside him. Garen Jenkins hovering as a hooker does, out, or way out of the right wing. But uh, again, bad choice by, uh, by Chris Wyatt there, and he, and he knows it. Wells fortunate in that sense. They still have a chance of some points. The new number one in World Rugby, Neil Jenkins then. Going for the posts as we go into the last 10 minutes of this first half. Turns his back on it immediately because he knows that's going right down the middle of the posts. And relief for the Welsh fans as Neil Jenkins extends Wales' lead again then to five points, 15 10. 31 minutes Will Anne Rondell please phone home urgently? Anne Rondell please phone home urgently. So, such a seesaw struggle in this first half. Stephen Bashup has been in superb kicking form so far for Samoa with the restart. Four kickoff by Bashup. Martin Williams back to Jenkins. Huge long kick upfield again, quickly taken by Lam to Tuingamala for Samoa. Wyatt as well in defence. Now Quinnell. Rugs off Glendening. Wells one quick possession. Is prevented though from coming back by the Samoans. Ed Morrison blew over a little bit early there. The ball is presented nicely for Rob Howley for another for another attack, but uh, decided that the penalty to be blown there and then. Neil Jenkins again then points points to the posts, I should say. This one. 40 metres, straight in front. So many records going Neil Jenkins' way today. 200 penalties too in his career.
So the angle is good for Jenkins. If he can get the distance. He likes it again. So this metronomic machine again increases Wales's lead. It's now eight points, 18-10. He's not rather too long. Straight to Gareth Thewellin. Rob Howley just holding the check to see what's on. Decides to ask his forwards to take it on first of all. A little knock on there though by the one skipper. Wales has played for restarts, hasn't been very, very good actually. Uh, from these restarts, we've uh, already given three points away and uh, um, some sloppy play, just given all the smallest points. So yellow to Bishop, Bishop, all the angles of running, bringing in Leanga from fullback. It's Bishop. And Samoa's man of the day has brought them back into this game once more. Fine piece of finishing by the Samoan outside half. Okay, Samoa seem to find it far too easy to break the Welsh back uh, yeah. uh, Lima coming in from the, the right hand wing, releasing Samoan the full back, stood up, Stephen and uh, Stephen Bashup supporting him there, back inside. Far too easy to break uh, the Welsh back line there. Lenga coming into the line very, very well, hitting a beautiful angle uh, on the pop back up there. Uh, but again, short of Welsh jerseys there. Uh, the Welsh pack and manage to get across to that ball. So, the Samoans back in this game once more. And a straightforward kick from in front of the posts. He's done pretty well anyway so far. Slao Lianga. And this will really build up the game in preparation for the second half. All the care in the world. Kick is the successful one. So the Samoans are fighting their way back in again. Thanks to Bashup. What really has disappointed me so far in the West performance the fact that every good period is followed by an appalling period immediately afterwards where concentration levels are gone. As it's seen have done there, the Welsh, Welsh teams will be jogging across it, thinking there's no danger whatsoever. And Stephen Bashup is a very dangerous player. 18 points to 17. Huge game on our hands at the Millennium Stadium. Palanico. Then Leota. The support is good this time from Ali. Just in the end though, went forward off Ali's hand, I think. Again, the men in blue seem to be breaking West tackles with uh, with consummate ease at the moment. I think Graham Henry would be very worried, but uh, and Brian Williams would be quite pleased with the turnaround. P.G. Williams, one of the greats of Samoa New Zealand rugby. As in the meantime, there's another injury this time on the Welsh side. To David Young. David Young today. Winning his 38th cap for Wales. Here he is, a beautifully clear afternoon in Cardiff. Great sight from the airship. Three minutes to go to half time. Jenkins up very, very flat again. Gibbs. So here's a chance again then for Wales to create something just before half time. Howarth up from fullback. Gareth Thomas. Two men up on him though. But Wales have done well to recycle that ball. Scott Gibbs, pass wasn't on, so he straightened up. Wales up to the 10 metre mark. No way though, Ed Morrison decided that ball was going to come back. Sets come to Wales. 
you know, mentioned there, Bob, that Scott Gibbs tried to uh, straighten up. Uh, the Welsh back plate, the one seem to be very, very lateral, and someone desperately needs to straighten the ball up somewhat, whether it's Shane Howarth from, uh, from full back or whether it's Scott Gibbs taking the ball off Neil Jenkins. Options on both sides for Wales this time. Howarth is steaming up from full back. We now couldn't get to him, and Bishop can now go clear. Stephen Bishop is going to get his second score, and Samoa have taken a dramatic lead as we come up to half time. Oh, what drama here at the Millennium Stadium. This is not with a crowd of 72,500 people here want came to watch. Uh, this is sloppy play, it really is. Uh, in fact, all the points of this in here on has been given to Samoa on the place. Again, a pass there, mistimed pass there with Shin Howard supposedly taking the ball off uh, Scott Cunnell. And uh, Stephen Bashup was away, no one to come across to, to catch him. Terrible defensive play by Wales again there. Again, it was, the, it, was the, it was the bad pass, really. I uh, don't know whether it was Shane Howarth timing from full back that was off or whether it was Scott Cornell's. We can't tell from here. But again, Stephen Bashup is there to sniff out any chance. Doubling his tally of tries for Samoa then. Two before today, another two this afternoon. And is there another sensation on the cards again here? Twenty-two points to eighteen to Samoa. Less than thirty seconds away from half time. Lianga has kicked beautifully so far in this game with the chance to extend the lead to six points. No mistake. Beautifully judged shot. So is history about to repeat itself. But Wales again contributing to their own downfall. Very much so. Not, uh, Wales are definitely not playing to the strengths of the world and, and, and to Samoa's weaknesses. Uh, they really are allowing the game to disintegrate and to uh, do a free for all out there. Again, Ed Morrison is playing an advantage to Samoa. Knock on by a Welsh hand. Well, there's some stern talking to be done, I'm sure, in the Welsh dressing room at half-time from Mr Henry. Yeah, I think the, uh, the Samoan uh, dressing will be far more jovial in the Welsh dressing room, but uh, I, I still think there's plenty, plenty of time in this game to turn around once again. That's Drum, we'll have to go down again. Brian Williams, in comparison, a very happy man indeed. David Young on this side against Brendan Reedy the two props Wells again will look to put on the pressure and it's ready no in fact it's the man on the far side Robbie Alley I think who's been penalized by Ed Morrison and that allows Neil Jenkins once again to go for the posts Well, the new world record successfully achieved. Neil Jenkins can now relax. Take up uh, his usual method. Averaging almost 20 points a game in Graham Henry's period in charge. Jenkins composes himself for an important kick for Wales. He likes it. That's why we've played two minutes of injury time at the end of this first half. And Neil Jenkins reduces Samoa's lead then to just three points. It's 24-21. Retaining the ball is a critical element of, of a modern-day international rugby, and uh, Wales are failing to do so. Uh, turn over the ball two, three times now, and it's cost Wales dear. Still time. Ed Morrison decides for one more restart. Then it's claimed by Gareth Llewellyn for Wales. 
Howley intent on looking to keep it alive, but uh, it's drifted out. Ed Morrison has a quick look at his watch. Besides, though, there's time to continue. Leota into the line out at the end of this first half for Samoa. Off the top, Soyalo. The charging run is by the replacement, Sititi. For the moment, Samoa forced to go backwards, but then really straightens it up. And there's a turnover on the Welsh side. Once again, sloppy play by Wales. Knocked down deliberately, though. Ed Morrison decides. And the urgency is shown by Howard. The support is there again from Howley. Back inside to Mark Taylor. Once again, rather untidy play by Wales. Goes backwards. Jenkins having to tidy it up. But it's alive on the well side for Scott Gibbs. Sets up another phase. Options for Wales on both sides. And Morrison is playing an advantage to Wales. There's an offside. They'll have to come back to Ovaenga. Hadn't heard the whistle. But it won't be any try. Ed Morrison, I think, had spotted maybe Tuingamala on this left-hand side of the field. Straight up in an offside position. I think Wales will be breathing a huge sigh of relief that he'd blown up there because uh, Samoa were off and running for yet another try to the post. Ian Jenkins decides then in the dying seconds of this first half to go for the posts. It would appear that it was the centre, George Liao Pape, who'd gone offside. And this will be the last piece of action in the first half. Twenty-four, twenty-one, two, Samoa. This kick for Neil Jenkins to bring the sides level at half time. He's looking at it very carefully indeed, but it's just drifted wide. Stephen Bashup touches down, and that's it. The half time whistle goes. And could we have a sensation on our hands here again? It's Wales 21, Samoa 24 at the interval.
Uh, one thing you can be sure, the Welsh would have had a real tongue lashing from Graham Henry in the dressing room at half-time. Very slapdash performance indeed. None of the usual composure or discipline associated with the Henry era in that performance. Ed Morrison just checking that we're ready to get underway. And it'll be Neil Jenkins to kick off. Wales trailing 21-24. 40 minutes to go in this game for Wales to turn it around and to get back to basics. I'm sure that'll be the lesson that Graham Henry will be trying to instill in his side. Graham Basher for Samoa had an excellent first half. Kicked tactically very well indeed. And two tries as well, of course. Graham Henry and David Pickering have resumed their position. Darren Jenkins into Gareth Thuwale. The Welsh forwards rolling it on. This is the sort of discipline that Graham Henry will have wanted. Peter Rogers showing the strength in keeping it available. Thomas over from the right wing. Cleared to David James. He's got it all to do again. Touchdown to flag is up. But first blood to Wales at the start of this second half. An early opportunity for David James. A far better play by Wales here. Yeah. Good driving play from, from the line now, Julie. And released, uh, released the back line. And Shane Howard coming to the line, put David James on the outside. He took Lang on. Lang put a great tuck cover tackle in into the side there. A short take by Lama Tone. The main line out forward for Samoa in defence. And they too look to roll it on. So Yalo then with a clearance kick. And inside the 22, that's given the throw in to Wales again. Chris Wyatt, as usual, tries to make a late entry into the line. Here he goes towards the back. Ed Morrison not happy though. Wanting to make sure the Samoans were a metre away. Jenkins goes for Thuellen. Taken out in the air. He can't do that. The jumper has to get down to the ground. Had his legs taken away from him. A jig is the ball up. Gareth went up there beautifully for the ball and his legs are taken away. Very dangerous play there by the Samoans. And Ed Morrison given no choice but to give the penalty and a severe warning. An early chance then at the beginning of this second half for Neil Jenkins. 11 points so far in this game. Three penalties and the conversion. When you are that high off the floor, man, and being sent from the stone, it's very easy to tip the balance uh, and the slightest knock onto your legs and, uh, and over you go. Neil Jenkins with the chance to bring Wales back on level terms. No mistake. He played three minutes at the beginning of the second half. And the sides are level again. And that's why it's so dangerous. Man up in the air, taken out by his opposite number. Jenkins makes some of a It's 24 points all. The restarts are a problem area for Wales in the first half, and let's hope they get a communication right in the second. Kick rather too deep by Bashup. Gareth Thuell in again. Good miss move again by Wales. Howard releases James. Tricky runner, Daniel James. Well built, six foot three of him. Howley can probe this blind side. Mark Taylor taken into touch though by Brian Lima. 
but much more purpose already about the Welsh performance in this second half. Very direct running, particularly by Shane Howarth in, and uh, Robert Howley sniping on the blind on blind side and Mark in support. Good cover tackle taking him out, but exactly sort of committed started uh, Wales would have wanted. Defensive ball for Trevor Leota. With Palanico up the front, goes towards the back. And on the drive comes Palanico. Scored a try from the lineouts in the first half. And again, Stephen Bashup can kick for territory. Taking Samoa out to their own half. A real object lesson in tactical kicking by this man today. He really is kicking beautifully from Han Stephen Bashup. And uh, it really is dictating play out there. And uh, Wills have to put a lot more pressure on him to, uh, to prevent these long raking kicks he's finding. Wills controlling the line up then. As the Samoans needing some treatment. Wyatt at the back, off the top. The switch to Gareth Thomas. Again, the well set piece move, bringing in the big right winger. And again, there are plenty of options for Wales. Mark Taylor, Howarth as ever in good support. Sinkinson was in too. An outstanding number seven. Their interception though. Wales again, playing into the hands of the Samoans and Pat Lamb. Goes all the way. More drama again in this game. As the skipper again put Samoa back in charge. Every time Wills puts a concerted period of pressure on Samoa and looked as if they'd taken the game in hand, they turn around and give the point straight back into Samoa's lap here. We can see this is Mark Taylor's run, looking for Shane Howarth in support. Good cover defence by Samoa. And Brett Sigerson's there, but uh, again, here it is, the pass there, Pat Lamb read it from the outset, really, and took the ball up there. And uh, there's no finer sight in open play, you see Pat Lamb with ball in hand, unless obviously you're a well supporter, and uh, he's not quite so, uh, quite so interesting to watch. Pat Lamb, who was a pupil, in fact, of Graham Henry's in Auckland, his great mentor. Looking to maintain his 100% record. He has kicked well from the ground in this game. with the opportunity to extend Samoa's lead to seven points. That's five out of five for Lianga. And after Wales battled their way back, the Samoans have broken clear again. Yes, more only too happy to, to feed off the scraps that Wales are, are throwing them, and uh, they throw them far too many, and uh, they're living off them, and. Uh, and scoring points at will. In the meantime, there was a knock forward by Wales as they attempted to regather the ball from the kickoff. So Wales must start again. Peter Rogers against Robbie Arley, the two props on this side of the scrum. Well, that tells its own story, doesn't it? Lots of those Welsh errors, very basic ones indeed, too. One area, a scrimmage, in which Graham Henry's men would expect to take charge. Bashup, little short kick into space this time. Gareth Thomas down and immediately up. That's textbook stuff. Making it available to Howarth on his own out that side, though. Little option for Shane Howarth, but to kick, and he misjudged it too. 
Yeah, Shane Howard's isolated on the right-hand side and had to kick three, but Wales are showing a, a definite lack of composure, and uh, that's required in the international level, especially when you play against the South Sea side. Leota, Tony off the top, not straight though. 15 metres in then for the set scrum to Wales. Again a Samoan, this time Brendan Reedy I think, the loose head prop needing some treatment. at the moment warming up all their replacements that's the warning to everybody on the field at the moment so we're ready again set scrum goes down Howley looking for the switch then Thomas as well to maintain the possession and it's Quinnell. Just takes it on one more phase. Wales, though, hanging on. Not releasing it. Scott Quinnell, guilty of the offence, says Ed Morrison. Good defensive by Samoa. Managed to slow down the Welsh ball sufficiently enough for Ed Morrison to give the penalty for holding on. Stephen Bashup with the chance then to send Wales back towards their own 22. And let's hear again a view from the touchline from Nigel Walker. There's the Samoans, trialled 19-3 at half-time against Argentina. Uh, Led, I should say, but the Argentinians came back to win. Promising position again for Samoa. To Obenga. The ball is quick for Basham. To Ingamara. Mark Taylor and Scott Gibbs and Brett Sinkinson get him down. Boots going in there to try and clear the ball for Samoa. Lianga. Bit of crisscrossing though, obstruction. And Wales again escaped. Good defensive line by Wales, really come up and pressurise the, uh, the Samoan ball handlers there and uh, give away uh, some more give away a needless penalty there by, uh, by overcomplicating matters. Again, Trevor Liotta, not the man you want out in the open space, but uh, good defence there by Swarmy defence by, uh, by Wales. Greg Glendinning, the number seven, the man guilty of the obstruction. As Neil Jenkins then sends Wales back again into Samoan territory. Twelve and a half minutes played in this second half. Samoa looking to repeat their victory over Wales in 91. Lead 31-24. Quinnell on the straight drive for Wales. Up to the 22. Jenkins playing scrum half. Howley. Danger of another interception. Tidied up by Garen Jenkins, but he's been turned by the Samoans. Ed Morrison all the while is playing an advantage anyway, I think, to Samoa. In the end, brings them back for the knock-on. Scrum, Samoan ball. Some really are looking for interception at any given opportunity. Wales are playing a, a very flat game as they have done throughout the tournament and perhaps they need to give themselves a yard back. And obviously, with some more being that flat in defence in trying to compete for the interception, uh, the chip over the top uh, is another opportunity to look at. But the kicking game needs to be brought back into the Welsh, uh, Welsh sort of game plan at the moment. Here we see the near interception. Oh! Doing the Mala that time up very quickly indeed. The crowds looking to lift the Welsh efforts. And it'll be a scrum in the first instance to Samoa. That's the Samoan 22. Stephen Oilo waiting to feed. The pressure again was there from Wales. 
Hashup has kept it alive. Taken though by Howard. Cleverly jumps in the air to make sure he can't be tackled. From the kick. So this will be a Welsh ball. As with Vainga, Twigamala charging up, you don't have both feet on the ground. Wheels poised to uh, make a replacement in the front row as we see again that nice leap there by Shane Howard. And it's a swap on the tight head side. Ben Evans from Swansea coming on to replace David Young. Again, Wales looking to create the angles, bringing in Thomas again from the right wing. Again, some crisscrossing in centre field. Obstruction against Wales. Such a thin line these days, isn't there? With so much off the ball running. Very much on all the sides and uh, all the top sides in Will Rugby use this sort of uh, sort of way of attacking uh, uh, in the back line with uh, with crossovers and zigzags and uh, various people running dummy lines. And it's very difficult for refs to pick it up. But obviously, Ed Morrison thought there was enough going on there to warrant a penalty some more. Stephen Bashup so to hurry it up by Ed Morrison. He will look to waste as much time as possible, obviously defending a seven-point lead. Samoans again warming up some potential replacements. Tone, good ball off the top. Now coming up at pace. Samoa running from deep. Good tactics, using the forwards that way. It's here again for Basham. Huge testing kick. Howarth, again he will leap in the air. Again he takes it, calls for the mark. And he was hit in the air too. He's very angry indeed about that, Shane Howarth. Very upset indeed, the Welsh fullback. And like you said, this was a brilliant take there. There was a sea of blue jerseys coming towards me, and, and Brendan Reedy, I believe, there took him out there whilst he was uh, a good two feet off the ground. But a brilliant take by, uh, by Shane Howard, exactly what he wants from a full back bravery and courage under the high ball. Shane Howard being called to him by Ed Morrison. Ed Morrison deciding that the challenge by Brendan Reedy was not a malicious one. So Wales will have the penalty. Neil Jenkins pushes them up again then towards halfway. I don't know about malicious, but he wasn't exactly asking him how his kids were. Off the top from Wyatt. The springboard for another Welsh attack again. A terrible handling error. Scott Quinnell gives the initiative back again to Samoa. Again, it's a super kick by Bashup. Stephen Bashup keeping up the pressure on Wales. But again, a Welsh handling error. Yet another turnover in a, a catalogue of turnovers so far in, in this game. And uh, Wales have to tighten up because otherwise uh, Smorgan just capitalising every time that uh, the Wales do it. And Bashup's use of the kick has been a positive one too, I would suggest. Not negative at all. There we are, almost twice as many Welsh handling errors. Gareth Dwelly with the safe catch. Once again then looking to roll it on. That Rob Howley asks for it. It's gone straight to Tuingamala. The Ayanga. Again the testing kick. Again Howarth is up for it. Calls for the mark and takes it quickly to Jenkins, to Mark Taylor. Couldn't get the ball out though to David James and Avenue was blocked. Howarth in the outside half position. Again, Quinnell has lost the ball. Well, looking very much out of sorts indeed, your fellow Scarlet here. Yeah. Very like Scott Connell to drop uh, this many uh, this many balls, and uh, there you are, Trevor Liotta getting the tackle and getting his hands in uh, on the ball there. But 
Again, Wales uh, need to use the kicking game far more. They're running the ball from deep and uh, turning over the ball in, in crucial areas. Again, the big drive comes from Wales at the scrum. They've gone around 90 degrees. They'll have to go down again. I know the Wales love to play a, a ball in hand game, but if things aren't quite going to plan, you need to alter those plans. Crooked feed again. I saw Diallo, the scrum half for Samoa. Jenkins with it quickly. A chance for Quinnell to a toe. It's there again for Howley and Co. There's the kick from Neil Jenkins. And forcing the fullback, the anger, to put it out. Exactly what, uh, what everybody here wanted. 72,500 people shouted out there as the ball is in the air. Uh, as if to say, yes, we were waiting for that kick for a long time. So, Wales have a promising position again then, on the Samoan 22. Trailing by seven points, 31-24. Chris Wyatt, the main line-out man. Poorly directed throw. Wales lose the initiative again then, as Tony takes that ball. They've lost it though, Samoa. Sititi tries to do something about it. And for the third time, the ball has gone forward of Scott Quinnell's hands. What a hit by Trevor Liotta there, when, uh, when he thought a try was beckoning for Scott Quinnell. So rich ground in defence there, and uh, Trevor Liotta came in and saw the ball coming from a mile away and uh, put a huge hit on Scott Quinnell. Again, dreadful play by Wales at the line-out, as in the meantime, there's a big shove on from the Welsh eights. Quinnell with a pick-up and drive. Wales just a couple of metres out. It's a penalty to Wales. The Samoans in over the top. I wonder if they're going to take the scrum or the kick a goal here. Wales trailing by seven points, but we've played only 21 minutes in this second half. The decision, though, by Robert Howley is to go for the scrum. Wales looking for the seven points to bring them back level. Wales told in the first instance, though, to take a step back. Howley fields. The ball at the feet of Quinnell. Soyalo, the scrum half, surely up offside. That's another penalty try to Wales. The Samoans guilty, Ed Morrison decided there, of collapsing the scrum. And in his view, a try would probably have been scored, and that's good enough to award a second penalty try. Yeah, you can see the pressure being exerted on, uh, on the Samoan scrum there. Great controller by Scott Connell at the back of the scrum. Thought he lost it at one point, but dragged it back in, and Samoa collapsed the ball. Correct decision by Rob Howley to go for the seven points. Brave decision indeed by the Welsh captain, it's paid off. Wales and Samoa are level again in this pulsating contest. 31 points all. 17 minutes of normal time to go in this game. Let's hope for Wales' sake so they capitalise on this... Uh, on this last 10 minutes and uh, take the ball all the way back down the Samoan territory again. The one thing Samoa will be looking for is yet another Welsh spill of the ball. The Samoan second row, Polanico, having to leave the field, Saneta Ala, points to come on. a crescendo of noise at the Millennium Stadium. Gareth Wallen just takes his eye off the ball. Wales have forced them back, themselves back again, into an equal position. But now it's Twingamara. 
fine drive by the big man. Sititi, the replacement. And Samoa now, through Pat Lamb, looked to straighten it up. Into the Welsh 22. They maintain the possession well too. Sititi again, the replacement, number 19. It's there for Bashup. That's to Lima. Powerful runner. Quick ball again for Bashup. Looking at the options. Scott Cornell up quickly that time though on Turingamala. But Leo Pepe has been battling away the number 12 in the meantime to maintain the possession for Samoa. What a game. Lima. Out wide to Lamb. Takes the ball beautifully to Brian Lima pops it up. The try. Fullback Lianga. What a tremendous score for Samoa. Brilliantly worth try. And Samoa are in the lead once again. Samoa showed great patience there in this build up. Several phases of play coming through, but they bided their time. And Pat Lamina held the ball up nicely for Brian Lima to stretch great strength and just uh, hold the ball up there nicely. Just to squeeze into that corner there. Great of a body strength. But again, the composure and the patience needed to go through several series of play to get the ball out there. Yes, Lima and Lamb combining so well. Experienced in New Zealand rugby, the two of them. Great strength. Good support from the fullback. Excellent score. Conversion attempt then is from wide out for Lianga. Samoa, five points clear with 13 and a half minutes of normal time to go in this second half. with a 100% record of kicks so far in this game. And that's why, beautifully done. Superb shot by the fullback. And is there no end to the drama in this game? 38-31 Samoa. Because all this, all this work done, great work done by Samoa here, came from a, a turnover ball, ball once again from the kickoff. where Wales took it out of the ball and uh, up to sustained pressure and some brilliant phase play and ball handled by Samoa came from a Welsh mistake once again. One guess what Basha will do with that. Hoops it all the way down into the Welsh 22. Shane Howarth immediately sends it all the way back. Another excellent chip into space by Bashup. He's making the game look so easy to win. All he's waiting to do is for Welsh mistakes and just making them um, pay dearly for them. And he's in his great kicking from hand prowess. He's losing two against their own throw. That's unforgivable in modern rugby. Worrying moments for Graham Henry, the Welsh coach. Well in takes. And Wales force their way back into this game once again. Cornell aided by Wyatt. Samoans guilty of collapsing them all. Pat Lamb. The Samoan skipper wanting some explanation from Ed Morrison of that decision. Ryan Williams, he's a happy man, certainly delighted, I'm sure, with the character shown by his Samoan players. Jenkins in again for Thewellin. Front of the ball, front of the line out ball, so it has to be by its very nature slow, which is why Wales now. Have to roll it on from there. A little danger of isolating themselves, but Brent Sinkinson did extremely well. 
Jenkins up flat again. Leota in quickly on Scott Gibbs with the tackle, but the penalty for a high one. So what's the Welsh decision this time? Rob Howley has decided to ask Neil Jenkins to go for the posts. Sensible decision that we bring bring Wales back to within a couple of points if he does go over. But again, you can see the swarming Samoan defence really is uh, causing uh, Wales all sorts of problems, especially with the flat ball. But again, uh, Ed Morrison deciding that Samoa were offside and uh, an opportunity for for Neil Jenkins to close the gap. Samoa 38, Wales 31. Straight shot for Neil Jenkins, but from 42 metres or so. And it's wide of the posts. So as we go into the last 10 minutes, Neil Jenkins looks to the hems. Samoa leading by 38 points to 31. And Group D, the outcome of Group D, right up in the air again. Morrison telling the Samoan players to hurry it up. That'll go long though, I'm sure. Yep, by Stephen Bishop. Cara Thomas with the first run. Wales almost up to halfway. Jenkins. Pat Brian Lima, I should say, making a bit of a mess of it for Samoa in the first instance. And the possession is there again for Wales. Howley spotted a gap and went for it. Rogers a good pass. Kunal sets up the other phase, aided by Wyatt. Wales have to keep their discipline. Garen Jenkins, the late, latest one to drag it on. Here's some tackling on the advantage line by Samoa. But Jenkins withstands the challenge well from Bashup. Scott Gibbs going. Finally straightens it up. Quinnell screaming for it, that's a dangerous pass. Almost intercepted again by Samoa. But Wales have the ball. Quinnell. Thomas goes in to aid him. Make or break period for Wales, surely this. Eight minutes to go. It's there again, Garen Jenkins goes to play scrum half. Gibbs. The supporting drive this time by Martin Williams. Was there a turnover? Well, Wales get the foot in anyway. That was touch and go. I thought for one minute that Martin Williams was held up in the tackle and uh, the ball would have gone Samoa's way, but... Uh, Better driving play by the Welsh forwards, really. They are isolating themselves a little bit, but nevertheless, the driving play is making the small ones work. Stephen Bashup needing treatment then after that big clash with Neil Jenkins. Here we see Martin Williams being tackled, and then the Samoan defenders turning him around. So here's the, uh, the big challenge between the two number tens. Neil Jenkins showing his strength. Neil Jenkins doing the wise thing and finding the smallest Samoa he could possibly see. Samoa 38, Wales 31. Options for Wales on both sides here. Quinnell with the pickup and the drive. Not held. Wales a couple of metres out from the line. Can they get it down? No, it's held up. You had a good view of that one. The ball just off the ground. No way that Scott Cornell could get it down. But a better drive by the Welsh number eight. Yes, yes, yes you see the best of uh, Scott Cornell. His driving play, really keeping the ball in hand with the help of his, uh, his teammates behind him, really putting a great surge in towards the Samoan post. Big, big scrum for both sides. Again, the Samoan scrum has gone down. This time accidentally. 
Ed Morrison decides. They have to go down again. Trevor Leota in the middle of the Samoan front row. And just a break while I think it may be Peter Rogers. The most point needs some attention. Well, what drama then in this clash between Wales and Samoa at the National Stadium. Just over five minutes of normal time to go. Samoa leading 38 points to 31. The Welsh crowd look to lift their side with bread of heaven. The great redeemer, this has been termed, can only look on. Peter Rogers, OK again. Howley into the scrum for Wales. Samoans have conceded two penalty tries already in this game. But Wales this time guilty of kicking the ball back into the scrum. Well, it's Twingamara who can charge clear for Samoa. Taken by Howard. But suddenly the pressure is back on Wales again. Wales again are guilty of killing the ball. And surely here, Samoa will go for the posts. Well, yet another twist. Yes, yet another twist. Penalty given by Ed Morrison there for kicking the ball back in the scrum uh, from Scott Cornell. And Vinga Tugamala, with the length of the field to go, elected a chip ahead and chased his kick up well. Held uh, Shane Howarth there. And then Ed Morrison was right on the mark to give a penalty for holding the ball in. So, a long kick. The longest that Silao Liainga has attempted so far in this game. He's done superbly though, hasn't he, to date? If successful, that this could well be the final nail in Wales' coffin. We have about five minutes in total to go at the end of this game. This could well decide it. Leanga takes his time. This could be a most important kick. That's close. Just drifts wide of the posts. Almost resulted in a try, though, for Samoa. As replacement Terry Fanaloa, with his first touch, almost got there. Wales again went to sleep. But Wales still survive. Samoa lead, 38 points to 31. Some four minutes to go. Earl Barr on for Bashup with the kick through. Thomas Howarth's in trouble. Got a bit of pushing off the ball by the Samoans. Neil Jenkins. Just trying to cool things down. We want to kick Wales, first of all, into a better position. He's done that excellently. A lovely kick there by Neil Jenkins, relieving the pressure. And uh, Wales now need a concerted push through to try and score in the last uh, few minutes of this game. Samoans too have replaced their hooker. Trevelyota off as Garen Jenkins puts into Wyatt, off the top. David James takes a difficult pass well. Big challenge on him, though, by Brian Lima. Now can Wales spread this wide? Two forwards out there, though. Wyatt and Jenkins, and the tackling of Samoa, as ever, is sure. Samoa are going forward. 
Ed Morrison decides it'll be their put in at the set scrub. If there's any time that Garen Jenkins wanted Chris Wire to give a dummy and hold the ball back inside, that was the time. But Wales have been very lateral once again, and they're rushing and trying to get some points and get back in uh, some more territory. But it's a characteristic of their play in the game somewhat so far. We're in the final 30 seconds of normal time at the end of this game. Wales, the overwhelming favourites, trail Samoa by seven points. 38 31. History is on the verge of repeating itself. Ed Morrison deciding the two scrums can go down again. Scrum to Samoa. We're into injury time at the end of this game. Samoan guilty once again. Robbie Ale, the prop, of collapsing it. No, in fact, Brendan Reedy. Neil Jenkins who put Wales down into the Samoan 22. He's done better than that. One huge effort needed by Wales. Right at the end of this game, then. Wales needing the converted try to draw with Samoa. Wyatt off the top. Took a long time to come down. But now the drive is on from Wales. An advantage being played by Ed Morrison for Wales. Good advantage to Jenkins. Just held up short. Huge effort by the Welsh forwards. In the end, Ed Morrison brings them back for the penalty for offside against Samoa. Excellent drive there by, by the Welsh forwards. Going in towards the post as well and looking for the seven points. Again, exactly what they should have done uh, throughout the second half. And he drive into the meat of the, uh, of the Samoan side. The decision by Rob Howley, an obvious one, is to go for the set scrum. Welsh fans screaming at their side for one big last effort. Ball at the feet of Quinnell, but he's lost it. And that surely is the last chance as far as Wales are concerned. Tabby James falls on the ball to keep it alive. We've played two minutes of injury time at the end of this game. Summer lead Wales 38 31, and they get the put in at the set scrum. That's two scrums now, barely five yards from the line that Wales have failed to capitalise on because of poor control of the back of the scrum, and it's, uh, you know, it's going to cost Wales an awful lot. Well, the statisticians will have to get the rules book out at the end of this particular group. Wales with two victories. Samoa now, it looks like, with two victories. Argentina with two victories. Soyaro guilty of putting the ball in his second row's feet. So Wales have one more chance. Three minutes into injury time. Jenkins straightens it up now, where's the support? He's released it. Wales can't get the ball out though. Quickly taken. Howley to Quinnell. Not held, so can carry on. And the possession is here again for Wales. Jenkins short to Andrew Lewis, the latest replacement, in the front row. Jenkins. Taylor holds onto the possession deep in the Samoan 22. Scott Gibbs looks to straighten it, then releases to Andrew Lewis. He straightens in turn. Darren Jenkins clears bodies out of the way. Sinkinson is held. This is quite unbelievable drama. Again, Wales have to go through another phase. Where is the piece of magic, I wonder? That is it! 
the end of an amazing tussle. And history has repeated itself. Samoa, to the delight of Brian Williams, have repeated their victory over Wales in the World Cup in 1991. They've run out winners here at the Millennium Stadium this afternoon. 38 points to 31 to the great delight of their support. What a tremendous achievement by the Samoans. Dejection in the Welsh ranks. And the big question is, who is going to go through from this group at the end of the day? Samoa back in contention again. Having lived off Welsh mistakes all the way through this game. Contributing themselves as well with some scintillating rugby at times. The final whistle. At the final whistle, the score is Wales 31, Samoa 38. Pat, what a difference a week makes. Well, firstly, to the Welsh media, the people out there, all the media actually, that's a special game for you guys. You know, you wrote us off. Uh, people forgot Wales haven't beaten us for 14 years and uh, gave us no respect at all and uh, we really, uh, you know, like I said last week, it's nothing like a Samoan who's, uh, who's uh, backs against the wall and boys came out and uh, showed what real Samoans are. A lot of pride, a lot of pride. Well, you've put the media correct now and I stand corrected, but uh, tremendous amount of character shown by Samoa. Oh, you know, it's, you know, the boys, I knew last night we were going to win the game. You know, we had a very deep me uh, meeting last night and, uh, you know, the, the room reminded us of 91, our team, all the faxes from our people back home. You know, it was a special game for our uh, children back in Samoa. It was White Sunday last week, and it turned out to be Black Sunday back home. It was a special day for the Samoan children, and, you know, to all the children back there, it's a special one for you guys. What was the game plan going into, uh, obviously, this co intense competition against Wales? Well, we knew, you know, it was an embarrassing performance last Sunday, and uh, it wasn't nothing about game plan. It was just individuals, individuals not applying themselves to scrums, line-outs, just the basics. And we said, look, you know, we're, we're better than that, and... Uh, boys you know we didn't even have to talk tactics all we said is go out there and show that you're good rugby players and uh, that's what they did you know just uh, you know we, we would never be the best scrummages or the best line out players but you know uh, when it comes if we all play well we're, we're a good team have you had your calculator out to see who you will play in the next round whether it be quarter final playoff or whether you will go through as group winners well i'm not worried you know the thing is we needed a win we got it and uh, you know we're still here people thought we you know a lot of uh, the welsh people were teasing us we're on our way back home and uh, we're not. We're here another week, and uh, you know we 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 just got to enjoy this. But you know, get on. We've got to move on now. We, the media, look forward to seeing you play again. It was very exciting. Yeah, we just hope we don't let you down next time. Thanks. Pat Lamb gets one over his old mentor, his old headmaster, Graham Henry, and there's the position then, with one game to come. Argentina against Japan, Samoa on the top of the pile. The final game in this pool. Argentina against Japan on Saturday night. What a group this is proving to be.